signing up for our YouTube account. Okay, now the time has come to go ahead and take our video and start uploading on our video sites. We're going to focus mainly on YouTube because that's, of course, the biggest directory with the most traffic. But we'll also talk briefly about some others as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go to YouTube, located at YouTube.com. And right on the, the main page here, you can see it says Create an Account. Go ahead and click on that and first we need to pick a username now of course if your uh, videos are going to be about just about the stock market maybe you want to incorporate that in your username so market tips now I'm sure that's going to be taken oh but actually it is available okay so we'll go ahead and use that United States I'm gonna you need to enter your zip code I'll just go ahead and enter that uh, date of birth, uh, this isn't actually my birthday, so don't get excited about sending me some presents. I'm just uh, putting that in there. Um, guy, you can let others find my channel if they have my email address. You know, not a bad idea if you have some friends out there. Hopefully you do. Do you want to receive email from them? That's up to you. Okay, I'm going to go accept the, uh, the service. Okay, now, you do need a Google account to create a YouTube account. If you don't have a Google account, no worries, you can do it right here. If you do have a Google account, you can sign into it and then add YouTube to that. Uh, you need a valid email address. You're going to need to confirm it, which meaning that YouTube is going to send you an email and say, you know, this is really you. You say yes, and then bam, you're live on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that and complete this registration process. Okay, so once your account is set up, you can just go ahead to here and click account, and this the screen comes up. And it's a good idea to go ahead and do some things like, uh, of course, you know, add your picture. Uh, add some basic information about yourself just because um, you know the goal here is to establish yourself as an expert on YouTube and you want people to come on and watch you know one video watch multiple videos and uh, you know this is a good way to, to lay things out like that so just keep that in mind and uh, we're gonna go ahead then and move on to the next video which of course is uploading our video so it's finally time to do that uploading your video to YouTube now it is time to go ahead and take our video and actually upload it to our YouTube account so I'm signed in here and you'll see in the upper right hand corner there's a button that says upload I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that okay and this is where we're gonna go ahead and upload it please note uh, there are a couple of requirements it can't it, it can't be too big of course when I select upload video it's going to launch um, a screen on my computer that will allow me to select a video I'm gonna go ahead and do that a while Okay, I recorded this with Cam Studio, so that's where I am in the Cam Studio directory, and I'm, I saved it as testing. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Okay, you can see that it's uploading right now. Of course, if you have a slower internet speed, it might take you a little longer than that there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and fill out the information on my video. Uh, we talked earlier about keywords. Whatever your keyword phrase is, it's real important that you put it you know, in here. So let's say, for example, if your keyword phrase is stock market for beginners and that's what you want to put in there you want to make sure that that keyword phrase appears in the title now you want your title to have more than that some tips you don't want to miss okay now that isn't actually uh, the video that if you remember uh, if what you saw it's not really gonna be helpful uh, to match the title but that's okay and then for the description the first thing I'm gonna do is again we talked about this before have the URL be first okay the best plan. Sometimes I dress things up by uh, doing this here and help it stand out. Okay, so and just a, a note again that you can't use stuff like this because it won't work. That needs to be the actual link. So there you go. So again, remember you can include reasons on here why people should follow through the description. And then as far as the tags, you're going to put your keywords here. Like that. Okay, category, that's self-explanatory. You know, wherever it's going to fit is where you're going to put it. A lot of times if it doesn't fit, I put it in education because, you know, my, my video is going to teach people something. Okay, of course you don't want your video to be private, that kind of defeats the purpose of, of what we're doing. I'm going to go ahead and hit save changes. And that's it. Uh, please note, if you go to view your video right away, it won't be there because it takes some time for YouTube to process it. So I'm going to hit to go to my videos. 
and here it is. You can see the description. Uh, the the box isn't uh, isn't there because you can see it says uploading. I can go to the actual page that my video is on. Now, if I look in my browser here, you'll see that is the actual address of my video. I'm going to go ahead and copy that and note it because I'm going to be promoting my video in the next series of videos. We'll be talking about that. So. Uh, you know, you're going to want to make sure that you have that. So that's basically it on how to upload it. And then the following videos will talk about what we can do next after we have the video on here. I'll see you there. Rating your video. Next, I'd like to talk about uh, a technique that I use sometimes that um, some people might frown upon, but I actually use it and it's worked well for me, is rating your own video. Essentially what happens is now that we have this video on YouTube, uh, one thing that's going to help propel it forward is if it gets a positive review. Now, of course, you might be thinking to yourself, it's uh, unethical to you know, rate your own video. Uh, for, first of all, obviously, you can't rate your own video from your own account. You need to create a second account and then go to your video and view it. Uh, if you are not comfortable doing this, you certainly don't have to. Um, however, I create a separate account on YouTube, and then I do this sometimes if I want to give my video the extra boost. Uh, or, of course, you can ask a friend to do it for you. So let me just go ahead and show you how to rate a video so if you want to do so you, you can I, I do have to say that it is something that that will help you because it can help get the ball rolling you know people will see that your your video was was rated highly and then they'll be more you know apt to view it and then of course they might also rate it themselves so you know a little can go a long way I'm viewing this video here and to rate it I simply just go over here and I click, you know, I'm going to give this one five stars. Okay, I'm not interested in an auto share, but that's it, it's rated. I uh, it was pretty easy to do. So, you know, it just takes a minute. I would encourage, you know, you can ask your friends to do that. You can uh, get a couple friends to do it, and then, of course, that's going to help you even more. Uh, you can also go ahead and leave comments on the video, too. Hey, great video. I learned a lot and post it and there you go so I just help somebody there hopefully they'll return the favor right so that's basically how that works again it's up to you if you choose to do that you know one thing that you can do is, is tell the world about your video call in some favors from, from some friends because getting those ratings can certainly help digging your video now we're going to move on to promoting the video that we have on YouTube uh, of course you know you put it up there and you can hope that people are going to find it but it does not hurt. In fact, it is, is a fantastic idea to go out and do some basic promotion. It doesn't take long. In fact, all the, metho the th methods that we're going to talk about are free. So, you know, there really isn't any reason that you shouldn't be doing it. So, uh, let's go ahead and start with the first one. We're going to be taking advantage of uh, social marketing, um, social networking sites, uh, the, the, specifically starting with the one called Dig. Uh, you might have heard of Dig. It's a place where people go and they, they if they like something, you dig it. That's what it's called. It's located at digg.com sign up for a free account doesn't cost anything and essentially what happens is you uh, are given a, a, a toolbar that, that goes into your browser whenever you like something you dig it let me go ahead and sign into my dig account so I can show you how this all works just give me one second okay I'm logged into my account and one way you can do it without bothering it with a toolbar or anything you can just go up here to submit new and a page will load where you get to submit your new link and you're going to need to describe it so if you recall in the last video I talked about taking your link and this is where you'll want to put it okay so there we go of course you pick what it is it's a video so we'll select that and continue and what's gonna happen is this is going to you know create a, a, a good boost in the search engines for you uh, dig is very popular when the search engines see that your video has been dug it's going to help the search engines understand that your video is worth reporting about and therefore you know should should help its ranking in the search engines of course what would really help would be if multiple people dig, dug it for you so the idea is that you start a snowball here you dig it once yourself and then other people see it and they dig it and then it you know continues to go on now this is nice uh, dig one and grab the information straight from my YouTube page and uh, of course you can change it if you like but uh, there we go even have my link in there uh, you choose what topic it belongs in 
and then you go ahead and hit submit story and that's it uh, digging is very simple you know once you have your account you can do it in like two minutes so I, I, it's certainly going to give you an extra boost and again you really want to get the word out about this and that's why we're going to be using the social networks starting with dig in the next video I'm going to talk about a few additional sites that is certainly worth your time to get some links out there to your video I'll see you there promoting your video on additional social networking sites Getting your video to rank in the search engines, you know, is a fantastic way to get, you know, a lot more traffic to your video to get it more noticed. And uh, one of the way that we accomplish that is by getting some strong links. We talked in the previous video about getting links from Dig. I wanted to mention a few other social networking sites that, again, you know, it's going to take some time to initially go out there and sign up for these sites, but in the long run, it's going to be more than worth it. Stumble Upon is very similar to Dig. I highly recommend that you do that as well. It can also help to create an avalanche of attention when other people see it they might stumble upon it too. Delicious is a social bookmarking site that um, also will help it doesn't doesn't take much time to go in there and get a bookmark from there. Reddit is also a good place. Technorati, Caboodle, Propeller is a, is a big one too. So again this is just an idea but uh, I suggest that you go out there, you learn more about these sites. In fact, there are, there are hundreds, but you want to focus on, on the big ones, and this is certainly a good start. And the idea here is that you spend some time initially creating accounts at these places, but then, uh, you know, once you have them, it'll only take a minute to go through and, and get your link from there. So I certainly recommend doing it. I don't do it with every video I create, but the ones that I want to see, you know, really get somewhere, I certainly take the time to do it because it really does help. It doesn't cost anything. It just takes some time. Promoting your video on relevant forums. I'd like to talk now about, you know, the whole idea is, is of course, to get your video in front of your target audience. So one way that you can do that, again, for free, is by going to places on the Internet where these types of people hang out. So let's say, for example, that I have a video that I did on dog training. Well, I'll go to good old Google, and I'll do a search for dog forums. And you'll see here a whole bunch of stuff comes up. Dogforums.com. I love dogs.com. I'll go in, and one thing that I'm going to look for is to, uh, and this is just a, a general marketing tip in, in general, you know, I'll look to see how active the forum is. So you can see here that uh, this forum has uh, 40, almost 47,000 members. That's, that's pretty crazy. That's a lot of people, and you can even also see that there's been a lot of posts, too. So what's to stop me then from creating an account and sharing my video? You know, I certainly recommend that you do that. Now, if you create an account just for the purpose of pushing your video, people aren't going to like that so much. But if you do it in a more nonchalant way, uh, one thing you could do is, you know, here there's a, there's a spot for new forum members, so I can go in here, and of course I could just introduce myself and then say, hey, listen, uh, I created this YouTube video. If you care, check it out. Or you know, you could create a uh, a signature, which is what what is known as now some forms don't have them, but most do. You can have a uh, a spot. Okay, here, this person has a signature. For every time they make a post, there here's their signature below, and you're allowed. You know, a lot of forms allow you to promote things. So it could be you know check out this cool dog training form, uh, dog training video. Now, if you can think about things and how to use this on a viral aspect, you could do something like if your video had some you know cute dog pictures in it, but also has you know a push for a sale at the end. You know, people eat that stuff up, especially a dog lover. So you go in here and say, hey, you know, here's my cute uh, pictures of my dog, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, you get these people to go check out your video. Hopefully they'll check out more of your videos. So just something to keep in mind. You know, the whole goal here is to go wherever your people are going to be, your target audience is, and start sharing it. You know, not just forums, but anywhere on the net. Uh, of course, you know, if you have a reputation somewhere already, you know, why not? you know build upon that by sharing your video with those people as well so just think about that and again uh, forums can be a great way you know especially if you spend some time building up your reputation people can begin to see you as an expert and then when you go ahead and share a video you know they're gonna flock to it because they respect what you have to say and share and in turn they'll go you know check out what you've created embedding your video on your website now that you have your video out there of course if you already own a website uh, a, f a great way to you know get the word out you know why not put it on your website fortunately um, YouTube makes it available that you can embed the video on your website meaning that it can look like it's right actually even though it's streamed from YouTube it actually looks like it's right smack on your website it's a very cool uh, way to display video so essentially what you do then 
is you go into your YouTube account. Okay, let's just say here that you're on, you're on the My Videos page of your account. And you go to your video page. And right here is something called Embed. And you just take this code here and copy and paste it. All Make sure you get all of it. Let me show you what the actual code looks like because it looks might look like gibberish if you're uh, not web savvy with, with the internet stuff here. So you can see oh, that's the code right there. And all you do is you paste that into your website. So it, it just it takes two seconds and actually it will then uh, create the video. Uh, of course you can see here in the code you can go ahead and, and change it. You can have a border you can enhance you know privacy mode if you wanted to you can also check the size and if you cl change the size then you'll see that it changes in the code right here so if I wanted to have it be this size and I click that and then there we go and I can also even play with the color scheme and it shows you know what it would look like there and then you just grab it and copy and paste it and you're set and the video will look just like that now the really cool thing is it'll it'll create this box here with the the video and you can start it and all that good stuff but every time somebody views it on your website it'll count as a view from YouTube so that you know that'll help with your views and your ratings and all that good stuff as well so I, I highly suggest that you do that again it, it's not hard to do some people think that it is it really is not and uh, you know you really want to expose if you're creating this material and you have a relevant website you know why not put it on there I, I highly suggest that you do that Additional video websites. We've been talking a lot, you know, of course, about YouTube and how that's the best video site to work with. I wanted to take a moment and share you know, additional video websites because, of course, you know, there's nothing to stop you from taking the video you submitted to YouTube and submitting it to other places around the net. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even target different keywords. Now, if you target the same keywords, you know, then the hope is that, you know, whatever keyword phrase you target, you know, you're, you will rank, of course, for your YouTube video, but also, you know, your Google video, your Yahoo video, all the other places that you upload it will, will rank as well. So, you know, I, I really do suggest that you take your video and not just limit yourself to YouTube. Now, there are tons and tons of video websites. I would suggest focusing on the main ones. Here are, are some that I work with that I certainly recommend. Google Video, Daily Motion, Daily Motion, that's a big one. Yahoo Video, you know, also of course very popular. Blip, Facebook, Rever, and lots, uh, lots more. Uh, you know, I would, I would certainly, you know, highly suggest you deal with these three. But there's actually, you know, there's a, there's a lot more out there. You know, Facebook is becoming more popular. Even MySpace has it. So, you know, even if you Google, you know, additional video websites, and in the accompanying book, you can see that I list additional ones besides this. But again, you know, why limit yourself? Now, the one thing that can become a bit of a hassle is taking the time to upload to all these sites. And actually, in the next videos, uh, we're going to talk more specifically about how you can automatically upload these to multiple places. Now, it does cost money, but still, hey, you know, it's it's uh, one of those things where I feel that the, the cost, um, you know, is overshadowed by the benefit that you get if you're into that. Of course, if you don't have much money, you know, you can go out and you can do these by yourself, and then you might want to just stick with the with the most popular ones. So again, you know, no reason. There's no exclusivity to YouTube. You know, you really should. You're not going to be hurting yourself by loading it to other sites, and it's also going to get you additional backlinks from those other sites as well. So keep that in mind. The power of Hazebread. I wanted to talk about a video service that allows you actually to upload your video once, and then it is sent out to you know, over a dozen different places. Uh, now it does cost money, but it does not cost much money. If you go to HeySpread.com, okay, this is it here. You can see. Uh, what happens is they charge you, you know, of course, for distributing your video, but it is not expensive. Let's take a look at pricing here. Uh, you pay for the credits. You can upload your video, you know, to one portal, cost one credit. Uh, then, of course, you know, there's there's optional things here. It only costs five cents for a credit, U.S. dollars, which means if you wanted to upload your video to ten different places, it only cost you fifty cents. Now, you can also enable stats, meaning that you're able to track your video, which is more of an advanced thing. That that if you know you really want to be keep a close watch on things, you can do that. That's a bit more expensive. That costs fifteen cents per video. You can also get stats manually. Um, you know export from YouTube and you know, watermark and additional things but uh, what I'm most interested in here you know is their core feature being able to upload uh, you know to multiple places so let me go ahead and, and break that down for you 
so you can understand where all it's sent to because that's really the the really cool thing here whoops got kicked back there okay over 20 networks so again what happens here is that you can go in and, and uh, for the price of a dollar you can have your one video published on these 20 different video sites so again you know a dollar and and the same amount of time that it takes to upload it to YouTube you're getting it to 20 different places that, that's a pretty cool deal now of course you can just go in and load you you prepay so you can put 10 bucks in here and then of course that's 10 videos that you can send out so that's how it works uh, I've used it myself personally tons of times and I think it's pretty cool uh, there are in the next video we're going to talk about a site that's a lot more expensive and it gives you unlimited submissions or, or close to it but uh, of course this page ago is, is certainly good especially for beginners and people just starting out so keep that in mind the power of traffic geyser I wanted to talk about a more advanced program you know certainly much more advanced than Hayspread uh, it's called traffic geyser and what this does is it focuses on video submission and also the the component that I talked about with the social bookmarking, digging, and all that kind of stuff. Essentially, what Traffic Geyser gives you is let's zip down here. You you pay a set price of uh, hundred dollars a month, which you know does sound pricey, but if you consider the you know the value that you get, you know, is it worth the hundred dollars? Uh, you can upload up to hundred videos per month to thirty top video sites, meaning that you have uh, about thirty five hundred submissions a month. But it also then takes that video and takes it through 12 social bookmarking communities, 20 podcast directories, and you know tons of blogs and blog directories. Um, of course, you know they offer other bonuses as well. So, essentially what this does is, you know, it gives you more of a hands-off approach to your video submissions. You know, it's one of those things where you can do it all yourself and it won't cost anything or you can, you know, you can pay this and be able to submit more. So, you have to take that all into consideration. Now, the one thing about Traffic Geyser is that they do have a your first 30 days only a dollar. So, keep that in mind because you know, once you say you, you go in here and, uh, you know, it's only a dollar, you know that after 30 days it's going to be a hundred bucks, so you got to really get in there and figure out if it's going to be worth that. And, you know, I, I would set a goal for myself that I, you know, the first month I want to make at least a hundred dollars for my video submissions. And when that happens, then I know that my membership is paid for and then I can continue to scale from there. So that's, you know, that's how it works. You know, if you're uh, savvy enough, you know, I, I suggest, you know, it's only a buck. It's certainly worth trying. And if you discover that it's not for you, you know, you can certainly cancel and there's no uh, contract or anything like that. So again, it's Traffic Geyser. You can check the link, the link that's located right below this actual video to learn more about Traffic Geyser. And uh, you can check out that special, uh, you know, just for a buck. So, uh, you know, it's worth trying. Uh, so you, know, you can check it out, Traffic Geyser. It'll help you, you know, save the time. Okay, that's about it. I hope that you've enjoyed this video series. Uh, just one final note. Uh, you know, I've given you the tools that you need to succeed with, with video marketing. You know, the, the difference now between you succeeding and not succeeding is getting out there and taking action. I can't tell you how many internet products that, that I myself own that I have not taken action on. And sadly, they have not made me any money, which is a loss to me. I don't want to see that happen to you with this. I really suggest that before you, you know, start chasing the next big thing, that you give this a try because it really does work. Uh, you know, video marketing is so popular, and it is a way to really catch people's attention. When you see a lot of people selling things, a lot of times they're not doing video marketing yet, which really puts you ahead of the curve. So you know, get out there and start doing it. I think that you'll be surprised at how well it works. Uh, just simply because it does. So, you know, best wishes to you, and I'll see you at the top.